In today's episode, we look into how to interpret different patterns of leaf curling like up curl, down curl and side curl and then diagnose the possible reasons for leaf curl and then treat this problem accordingly. Coming up. When you see leaves of your plant curling, whether upwards or downwards, your plants are trying to tell you something. The first thing that should come to your mind is, the plant is in stress. Stress is more commonly seen in younger plants than the more established or the mature plants. Well, now let's look into different patterns of leaf curls with scientific concepts and reasons for each of these and solutions or remedies to be applied to treat the problem of leaf curl. On number 1. Leaf margins curling downwards and drooping down like wilting. The common cause of this is underwatering and excessive heat like in summer season. This indicates your plant is sad and stressed and requires attention. This is a sign of too much heat and underwatering. The solution is pretty simple. Just water the plant thoroughly and then you'll see them come back to normal in few minutes. On number 2, leaf tips or margins curling upwards and folding. Upward curling occurs because of environmental problems rather than nutrient problems. This could either be due to heat stress or wind stress. Leaves curl upwards or fold upwards in an attempt to stop exposing or reducing the surface of the leaf for photosynthesis and thus reducing transpiration and hence overall dehydration of the plant. But one problem here is once it curls upwards, it's not going to uncurl or come back to its normal shape. If the whole plant is suffering from this, you need to worry. But if it's only few leaves curling at lower portions of the plant, not to worry if your anger shoots are healthy. So what is the remedy for this leaf curl? Just shift the plant under a shade net away from too much hot sun and mist the plant with some water once or twice a day. On number 3, leaves curling down or drooping underneath itself with some yellowing. This is a sign of overwatering and an early indication of root rot. To save the plant, take out the root ball and repot it in a fully dry soil for immediate solution and do not water it for at least two days. You can also add some antifungal into the potting mix or into the water. On number 4, leaf curling with wrinkling and unhealthy look with patchy or punctate yellow spots or specks and visible pests like aphids, mealybugs and so on obviously indicate a pest attack. This is the cause of leaf curling. Spraying neem oil weekly once will help in prevention as well as treatment. On number 5, leaf curl virus. This needs a special mention. This commonly affects plants like peppers and tomatoes. If you come across this leaf curl and you have ruled out the other causes of leaf curl as discussed, then you should dispose the plant to prevent the spread to the other plants nearby. On number 6, nutritional deficiency. Even this can cause leaf curling. The fact you must remember is, about 90% of all leaf curling or leaf injury like yellowing and so on can be attributed to environmental issues, not nutritional. The main nutritional causes of leaf curling are magnesium and manganese deficiency. Magnesium deficiency curling shows on the middle to older leaves with patchy yellowing as well. But the leaf veins stay green, that is called intervenal chlorosis. Whereas manganese deficiency curling first starts showing at the younger leaves. So this is how you differentiate between the two. So the first thing you need to do to support this diagnosis of nutritional cause of leaf curling is a soil pH test. Too much alkaline soil will inhibit the absorption of these micronutrients by the roots. Simply adding micronutrient powder will not help. First, test the soil pH and then correct the pH. You can make it more acidic by adding alum or vinegar. You can watch all my related videos on these topics from links in description below. Then you can also foliar spray with Epsom salt solution. Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate if you are suspecting magnesium deficiency. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!